We're live. What's up, sergeants? Will you begin your recordings? PC started. Okay. Back, back up is rolling. Thank you, sergeant. Begin your opening. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the remote hearing on transportation. Will council members and staff please turn on their video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruption, please place our cell phones, electronics, and vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant, and the whole team that, again, that doing a great job to be sure that all New Yorkers are connected to this remote hearing. Good morning and welcome to today's Council Transportation Committee board. I'm Dani Rodriguez, the chair of the Committee of Transportation. Today, the committee convened remote to vote on proposed intro 2224-A, sponsored by myself, Council Member Lander, the speaker, and Council Member Levy. Proposed intro 2224-A is a local law to amend the administrative code of the city of New York in relation to the establishment of a crash investigation and analyst unit within the Department of Transportation. The committee heard a previous version of this bill on February 24, 2021. Every year, there are thousands of crashes that cause fatalities or serious injuries. According to DOT statistics, there were 244 traffic fatalities and 43,866 traffic injuries in 2020. Currently, the NYPD's Collision Investigation Squad and a group of four DOT employees employees respond to around 300 crashes per year in which a person has been killed or is likely to die. Over the last several years, serious questions have been raised about the unit's effectiveness. Many advocates for safer streets have come out in support or rethinking the way we responses to serious crashes and the bill we are voting to on today does just that. Proposed intro 2224-A would establish a cross investigation and analyst unit within the DOT. In coordination with the NYPD, this new unit would be tasked with analyzing, analyzing a much wider range of crashes. All vehicle crashes involving significant injury. Most, cru cru most cru crucially, this new unit will take what is learned from serious crashes and turn that knowledge into action. The new DOT unit will be required to make recommendations for safety, safety improving changes to a street design and infrastructure with a goal of preventing future crashes. It is important to understand that this bill does not inhibit the ability of the police department to pursue criminal investigations regarding traffic violence or interfere with the state law mandate that the police investi investigate certain crashes. Since our last hearing on the bill, amendments have been made to make that even more clear, especially after we heard all those inputs from all the DAs in, of New York City. This bill is an important step and makes significant changes to the way in which we respond to crashes. In addition, this bill will allow for victim, victims and families of victims to receive better information on why and how a crash occurred, as well as what is being done to remedy the situation. Hoy estamos aquí votando un proyecto de ley que va a crear la La, 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 cual, la unidad de investigación dentro del departamento de transportación con esta unidad hoy nosotros buscamos de que la ciudad de Nueva York esté mejor organizada en cómo se investigan todos los choques que ocurren en la ciudad de Nueva York donde todos los años más de 40 mil personas eh, son golpeadas y de eso cientos mueren todos los años con este cambio nosotros mantenemos el poder de la policía para la capacidad de ellos de hacer las investigaciones, pero le damos al Departamento de Transportación a esta unidad el poder y la responsabilidad de que ellos tengan que ir a las escenas donde ocurren los choques y usar esa información 
para crear políticas de cómo hacer las calles rediseñándose más segura para los peatones, para los ciclistas, para todos los neoyorquinos. I want to thank uh, Transportation Alternative, Family for Safe Streets, and all the advocates, and all the staff at the Central Council, and the staff in my office with uh, my chief of staff, Elizabeth Conforme, my ladies lady, director, Evelyn Collado, and my communication person, Tomas Garita, for being working so close with the central staff of the council who did a great job to make this bill a reality. I want to thank Mayor de Blasio and his team for one more time showing his leadership when it comes to sitting with us, compromising, listening what is the best for the city, and at the end, coming with a plan where we can pass a bill that is a good one for all New Yorkers. I will now ask the committee clerk to conduct a roll call vote on the proposed bill and recommend my colleague to vote yes on this important piece of legislation. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on transportation, proposed introduction 2224-A, Chair Rodriguez. I and I dedicate my vote to all those family who today have been, who, who today after losing their loved one, they have been fighting on the day name to be sure that no, no single family go through those situations or losing the lost one, the loved one as a result of crashes. With that, I go on. Cabrera. Uh, no. Who? Council member Ku. I will I. Thank you. Levin. I vote I. Rose. Council member Rose. Oh. I, I said I. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Deutsch. I vote I. Levine. I vote I. Thank you. Menchaca. I vote I. Miller. Council member Miller, I'm not receiving any audio from you, sir. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll come back, Council member. Reynoso. I vote aye. Ruben Diaz. I vote aye. Holden. Oh, no, and I, I did have my hand up, and I think uh, Council Member Miller also had his hand up before the vote. So I don't know why we weren't recognized, Council. Does anybody out there hear me? I do. Okay, so we both had our hand up, and, uh, and uh, I just wanted to. Never, uh, I just want to make a statement. Do I have permission to make a statement? Yes. Okay. Uh, I've been, I was on a hearing, the original hearing, and um, uh, also on the, the conference when this was explained. I still don't know the exact changes that were made. Um, never was I on a hearing that all the parties were against it. DOT was against this, NYPD was against this, the DAs are against this. So, um, Yes, there were some negotiations done, but again, all in secret, not, not letting the members know. I tried to get some information as to what was exactly changed. We still don't have the real negotiations. Um, and knowing DOT, that I, how I know DOT, that I can't get speed bumps in three years uh, to, to get uh, any improvements, even mistakes that they made on 
uh, turning lanes and bus lanes that they don't correct for over a year. Um, I don't think this this plan and it's, and it's vague. It's certainly vague. So for that reason, I'm voting no. Councilmember, we'll hang on one moment. Councilmember Miller. We still have audio. We'll, we'll hang on one moment. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm 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 gonna close this because I'm actually on my phone now. So permission uh, to explain my vote. Permission granted, Council Member. Okay, as as uh, Council Member Hood said that uh, you know we did our have our hand up and I tried to write in the chat which was not available. Uh, um, Mr. Chair. With respect, uh, I do agree that this is well-intended legislation, uh, but ultimately it's flawed. In this bill, we are voting to allow New York City DOT to be both judge and jury on our streets. They will design the signs, and then when their signs fail to keep New Yorkers safe, they will now be responsible for allocating the blame for who is at fault. This agency is that this agency that loathes to take responsibility for their own shortcomings. New York City Department of Transportation has run for the past few years run roughshod over New York City communities, community boards, civic associations, and residents, residents, and is infamously unresponsible to prioritizing enforcement before education and engineering. DOT's job performance in recent years has been woefully inadequate. The agency has failed on most basic levels to replace street signs, fix streets, markings, and address basic safety concerns. It takes three years on average to get a speed hump elevated to install. This is not an agency prepared to handle more responsibilities. Let me also say that in particularly alarming, it is particularly alarming that this legislation is moving in the spirit of police reform. The DOT had treated communities of color with borderline contempt. While white communities got bike share and fully built out bike lanes, our communities were told to wait and then ultimately we were given punitive cameras instead. I cannot today vote to add another $3 million to DOT's budget and allow the agency to duplicate professional services provided by trained experts and professionals at CIS. We would be better served off sending these resources to CIS to better support the work, their work. I also note that this, these are the sentiments shared by all five district attorneys and the DOT itself. With that, I'll be voting no on intro 2224. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member. The vote on proposed introduction 2224A is nine in the affirmative, three in the negative, and no abstentions. The item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, colleague, and uh, thank you, Speaker Cory Johnson, again for all your support in order for us to move this legislation. One more time, one more time, you show your leadership when it comes to transportation and many other issues. With that, this hearing is adjourned.